Hi guys. Oh, this is going to be a different game than usual. Uh, this is the shadows that run along our... Yes. The shadows that run along our... F uh, this is the shadows that run along our car. Alongside our car. I can't say the name right. I've tried three times. I've failed. The shadows that run alongside our car. I did it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So apparently this is... A conversation between two people in a zombie apocalypse in a car. That's all I know. Uh, apparently, it's supposed to be very heartfelt, so be ready for. This is some nice music, by the way. Can I? I did it. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing. Can I do it like that? Alright, I just wanted to get those two notes. Anyways, I'm back. Hello. <laughs> I don't even know if you're gonna hear the notes. It's time to get started <laughs> with this game. Let's go ahead and get started. Whose eyes would you see? Oh. We're going with him. Okay. Gun it! I put the pedal to the metal and I'm sitting in the pedal. I don't know. <laughs> the wheels screech as we pull out into the lane. The car swerves, but it doesn't matter. Ma it doesn't matter. Matter? 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 Dabo dabo. Uh, <laughs> the wheels screech as we pull out into the lane. The car swerves, but it doesn't really matter. There's no one else out here as far as the eye can see. The abandoned station shrinks behind us until it's gone. And then it's just us and the long road. The world outside the windows passes by us in an abstract, like the whole world's given up on having any mini meaning. We drive in silence. After a while, I hear the faint buzzing of the power window being rolled down. You sure that's a good idea? It's not like zombies are just going to hurl themselves at a moving car. They might! Fair enough. No, that's not fair enough! They might! Zombies are mindless! They go... And maybe they'll go and fly at you. Maybe zombies can fly in this world. You need to look out. <laughs> well, that was a thrilling conversation. It kind of was, but okay. <laughs> so... Guess is, guess this is kind of strange to be asking after three whole days, but what's your name anyway? Oh, right. We never did introduce ourselves. It's Shelby. Who would be my zombie buddy? We'll go with Shelby. I don't know anybody else. Shelby. Oh. Well, Nice to meet you, then, Shelby. Names... Oh, no! No! <laughs> I gotta go back. What is her name? You know what? Emily. Her name is Emily. Emily. Well, nice to officially meet you, then, Emily. Names... Jason. Only the real ones know. Only the real ones know right now. Jason. Okay. Ah. The car shudders briefly as we rumble over a series of potholes, but then the road smooths again. The humming of the engine reminds me of a storm brewing far off on the horizon. Beyond these occasional noises, we sit in silence. So, what were you doing before everything happened? Hmm? Oh. Wow, that's the first time she's actually started a conversation. Guess I'm not so intimidating after all. What was I doing? God, what was I... A whole lot of nothing. <laughs> I bet that sounds super impressive, huh? Just a scruffy drifter. Not so sure she wants to hear that. I... Hmm, I would tell her the truth. 
We're gonna bend the truth and be super cool. I was moving cross country, then everything went south, including him. <laughs> okay. What about you? This ride is yours, right? Mm, yeah, well, it's really my dad's car. Or was. Even when he was alive, though, I was the only one who ever drove it. Ah, guess he didn't. Sorry. Never mind. It's okay. The booze would have killed him eventually, anyways. It's getting dark. Pretty quiet in here, huh? Surprisingly, not much noise at the end of the world. <laughs> Do you think there are any radio stations left? I'd be pretty shocked if so. Reckon it wouldn't hurt to look though. She's fiddling with the dial. I'm pretty sure we're not going to find anything. Static comes in and out in waves. Every so often does the distortion gives the illusion of an actual sound. But then it goes right back to nothingness. Just then though. Hang on a sec. Go back down. I think I actually heard something. The noise phases in and out, then as something comes into auditory focus. Oh, I gotta move! I gotta move! I feel like we're on a, like a horse. <laughs> Is that Mariachi? <laughs> Oh, it's a mariachi. <laughs> I was going Russian. Whoops. <laughs> I can't contain myself. The sound is unmistakable. Horns blare joyously over the static in a sick fanfare, while a man's voice wails out soulfully over it. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta add something. I'm laughing so hard I nearly pee myself. Emily's nearly there too. That was not what I was expecting. Who the hell's out there running this? Of all the music that would be left. Man. I sink back into the driver's seat letting my mind drift to the music. The dissonance is almost comforting. As the fractured chords wash over me I try to pretend that I'm lounging in a truck bed somewhere. Out in the sun, mid-afternoon, shirt damp and dirty from a hard day's work. For a moment, I almost believe it. The music falls short for a few seconds before starting up again. Wait, isn't this the same song again? Oh, it's probably on an endless loop. Because why wouldn't it be? Sure seems that way. Guess it's just the ghosts on the waves, after all. And the undead aren't exactly interested in DJing. What did you think a, do a zombie to even listen to? <laughs> Is death metal too obvious of an answer? <laughs> Rob Zombie? Or maybe they're all baby metal in the baby metal these days. I don't know. I think the Grateful Dead seems more apt. You know, I always wondered this, but what are they grateful for? Exactly. Maybe they finally found themselves some peace. Peace, huh? I wish that the rest of us have some. Ain't so bad right now anyway. Uh, except for that. I shake my hand at the radio controls. So what are you into anyway? Music-wise? I really like Alanis more Bless you? Top 40 hits, that sort of thing. You? And don't tell me it's baby metal. Will you judge me if I say I actually haven't heard of them? No, that might be best for the best. What do you listen to then? Most people look at me and expect me to be into the Stones or Marley or something, but... Oh, you'd probably actually judge me more for this. <laughs> Try me. ABBA. Oh, hold on. ABBA's, um... I know I have a ABBA, 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 ABBA. Uh, <laughs> Just as I thought, she starts laughing at my expense. It's a nice sound, though. I'm not going to be poetic and say that it sounds like music or anything like that. Still, 
That's good to hear. Told you. No, no, it's fine. Their music's catchy. ABBA did, um... That one song. What song was it? Um, hey, Siri. What's that one song by ABBA? Dancing Queen by ABBA. Ah, there we go. Dancing Queen. You are the Dancing Queen. I mean, my parents listen to ABBA, but it's fine. Your parents? Yeesh. How old are you anyway? You seem a bit young for Alanis. How old do you think I am? I'm pretty sure there is no right answer to that question. Except for that one. I'm 22. Hmm. Shit. Uh, that's so young. She's practically a kid. What was I doing when I was 22? So wasting my life, I reckon. Wonder if she's been to school. That young and the whole damn world's crushing down around her. I try not to make his face, but I can see my knuckles going white as my fingers grip harder into the wheel. This music's kind of similar to ABBA, isn't it? All peppy and stuff? You should be happy to have it. That's yeah, sure an optimistic take on it. Alright, enough of you. I reach down and turn the volume knob to the sharp left and the radio blissfully goes silent. Farewell, wailing man. <laughs> now it's just us again. Did you ever expect things to end up this way? It's getting dark, huh? The sense it's so late in the summer. Guess she doesn't want to talk about it. I can't say I blame her. I'm a bit surprised we still have any light at all at this hour. Especially without the street lights and all. It's like the sky's just been saving it up. Looks a bit like a dying fire. Kind of fitting for the end of the world. And then it's dark. So you never really told me what it is that you do. I mean, it doesn't have to be a job or anything, but well. <laughs> what do you like to do? Or what did you... Or what did you before everything? Actually, I worked a lot. I didn't really have time for much other than that. I'd wake up, shower, go to work, have a lunch break, back to work, get off work, eat dinner, watch TV for a few minutes before passing out, and the whole thing would start all over again in the morning. That was about it. I guess that would be most people's story. It's tough out there. Was tough. Probably tougher now. <laughs> All kind of pointless in the end, isn't it? You work your damn tail off and everything goes to pot anyways. And you just wonder why you didn't spend your time better, you know? Yeah. But I guess that doesn't matter either way. So what about you? I'm sure you didn't spend all your time listening to ABBA. Ah. I used to travel a lot, looking for work and stuff. I suppose you could call me a bit of a nomad. Well, that sure is lofty. That sounds really cliche. Not really. It sort of suits you. To tell the truth, I haven't really had much purpose in a while. I've just been getting by. When you can't find something to do, you sort of lose yourself. It gets to a pretty dark place. Got to the point I used to wish I could just take a vacation from life. Guess I got my wish, didn't I? Wishes never do come true the way you expect them to, huh? Yeah, monkey's paw. I don't think she knows I've noticed, but she's been pressing her gut a lot. Wonder if she's still alright. Since I first ran into her, she's been in a rough way, and I'm not sure it's gotten much better. We probably should have looked for some more bags of that ginger stuff. You okay there? I point toward her stomach with the back of my hand. Hmm? Oh, yeah. It's gotten a little bitter, but... I'm just exhausted, which doesn't help things. You know how it is. I do, but... Christ. I'm really not equipped for this. I know first aid. I can stitch up a cut, but... 
Gastric distress. Oh my, this is a bit beyond me. You think we should stop and rest? Nah, like it or not, we'll be stopping soon anyway. Breaking would just waste gas. Right. The fuel. If everything wasn't so weird these days, anyway, I'd call it suspicious there was only a single tank's worth left. Not much we can do about that, though. Onward it is, then. Do you ever wonder... Oh, no, she's not feeling good. Do you ever wonder, like... Why us? How did we make it this far? Is it really a good thing that we're still alive? <laughs> Didn't I used to. Honestly, I try not to think so hard about stuff like that. If I stop to wonder what my own life was worth, I... It's a dangerous train of thought, I'll tell you that. Right here. That's what matters. Despite it all, we're here, and we're safe. The how and why of it is just garnish on the salad. You know, I didn't believe it at first. I mean, that we were really facing the apocalypse, right? Or whatever. So, the first couple of months, I just kept working. Kept on like everything was fine. And then, listen, you don't gotta answer me if you don't want to, but... Your old man. What happened? My dad? <laughs> so he needed more beer, right? Of course he did. He was a deadbeat alcoholic. They wouldn't even let him in our nearby, nearby liquor store anymore, so he wandered off to another one. Just so happened that that part of town was infested. It took a while before I even noticed, since he wasn't really any different from usual. That's pretty pathetic, huh? But so was my dad. And in the end, I won't be doing much better. Great. Now I feel like I want to puke. Hey. Please don't say things like that, Emily. One of us has to keep this up. I slide my right hand off the wheel. Let's be cute! Let's be cute! Her hand is resting by her leg near the center console, so I reach over. Her hand jerks when I touch it, but she doesn't pull away. Wow. Her skin feels really cold. Is that normal? Maybe because the window's open? Maybe it's because she's sick. I really wish I knew a bit more medical shit right now, right about now. Did she, is she turning? Actually, if she had a fever, shouldn't she be hotter? A chill like that can't be normal. It's not even that cold in here. But we're still here. Just remember that. Until that changes, there's still time. Things might never get any better. It would be stupid to assume that they would. But while we're still breathing, there's hope. <laughs> That's cheesy, isn't it? <laughs> anyway. I'm sorry about that. About your dad, I mean. Even if you didn't get on with him. I bet it must be hard, losing someone that close to you. Yeah. I guess. It all happened so fast, I'm still trying to come to terms with it. I wouldn't worry too much. There's no wrong way to feel. Excuse me. I guess I'm almost privileged. No one I care about has been around in a long time. I wonder if there's anyone else still out there. I wonder if they're stuck out here like this. I wonder if we'll ever know. I... Just as she starts talking, the engine gives an unsettling sort of rumble and my heart jumps. It sputters a few times and the whole chassis lurches. With a pitiful clattering, the engine stalls out and the car can't do anything but coast. Crap. 
I noticed a fuel light click on some minutes ago, but I guess I still wanted to think we had more time. The car rolls down the pavement until I can't anymore. It can't anymore, and we amble to a stop. I really thought the gas would last a little longer than that. But how'd that happen sooner or later, wasn't it? God, if I wasn't hoping for later. We bought this car used, after all. It's cost efficient, but not so much fuel efficient. Wonder how far the next gas station is. It'd be nice if there were some signs around here or something. Can't believe we've gone this long without seeing any. I haven't seen anything for miles. Even without people, without lights, I can't see how this could be. Like, civiliza like civilization just packed up and left the moment everything started to crumble, leaving not a trace behind. Even if there were, it's not like we could have seen them. It's gotten so dark and without the streetlights. Hey. How fast do you think you can run? I don't want to run anymore. About average, I guess. Do you reckon we should? Her hand touches down to her stomach again. She felt so damn cold. No, please tell me. I don't know. I don't know if there's a point. Not much point to anything. Not anymore. Maybe not. It's too damn dark anyhow. In all likelihood, one of us would probably trip and fall. It'd be pretty sad to make it this far just to die from a bust-up face. <laughs> Please just smile. Yeah, I would. Anyway, there's nothing we can do until the sun rises. I stare out the window. The sky's clouded, but if I squint, I can see faint lines in the velvet. The breeze through the open window is quiet and clean. Guess we're crashing here tonight, then, huh? In more ways than one. Could be worse, anyway. At least the air smells nice. <laughs> yeah. I sink back into my seat. I search around for the lever on the side so I can adjust the angle, but even when I yank on the damn thing won't... Yank on it, the damn thing won't budge. Used car. Right. I try and get comfy the best I can. I only hope that she can, too. It's gonna be a long night. Well... Good night, then. So dark now, it's not much different when I shut my eyes. I breathe in and out, wait for sleep. She didn't respond. Huh? That's it? That's it? What? Huh? That's all you know! You can't give me that kind of story and then drop that there. No! Aw, oh, hell no. Alright. Mm -hmm. mm. There were two sides to the story. I'm going to do the next side next time. I hope that tells me some more about the story. Oh my gosh, no. That's, that's... That's not okay. Alright, well that was a good story. <laughs> that was the shadows that run alongside our car. At least part of it. Hopefully there's more. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, definitely please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll make sure to see you guys next time. Bye guys.